Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to use the Transformations tool in CorelDRAW X6. I'm going to start by getting us an image up here that we can play with, and we want to open our Transformations tool. You want to click on Arrange Transformations, and then just select from one of the tools at the top. When you select the tool, I heard it open, so I'll do it again to reopen it. When you select the tool, it actually opens a toolbar on the right hand side where we can select from the same options you had in the menu before. Um, the first one I want to do is just going to be a copy function, or as we look into here, it's position function is what they call it. Um, I want to grab the, the object. Uh, I, you're going to use X and Y coordinates. Um, now this is an X and Y as it is relative to the actual object. So if I tell it X1, it's actually talking about one inch to the right of this object. X of negative one would be one inch to the left of this object. Um, y would work the same way. Y, a positive function, would be one inch above, negative one inch below. Um, you keep the relative position, it'll keep it relative to the actual object you have. Uh, and then down here we have the grid mark where we can just pick certain objects or certain areas. Since our object is actually 2.7 inches wide, you'll notice when I select the right, it sets the ax x axis at 2.7. Now the bottom selection is where we can tell it how many copies we'd like to make. If we set this to zero and hit apply, it's just going to move the box to the right 2.7 inches. If I tell it one inch, it's going to make a copy of the box at 2.7 inches. Same thing is true, I can tell it to go um, bottom right corner and hit apply and it's going to make a copy off of the bottom right corner. You'll notice as I do these, uh, I select the center one, I create one there. It's going to make just a grid pattern around the box. On a side note, this particular tool with the position tool is actually great for doing murals. You can create your box, you, you, the box the size of one tile, well, with your bleed area. Now, assuming you're using a four inch tile, we do 4.325, which is 4.25 with just a little bit of bleed area involved. Um, and then from that point, we do the same thing. We want to make the height 4.325. Now we now have a box here that represents one 4 by 4 tile. I'm going to come across, let's say you're doing a mural, you want to do 4 across and 4 up and down. I want to make 3 copies keeping the original as the first tile and it's going to do 4 across. Then we'll select all 4, tell it down and apply and it does three copies downward and now we have a perfect grid that we can just combine for a mural. All right. Let's talk about the next tool. It's a rotation tool. On the rotation tool we can actually tell it we want to rotate our object we'll say 45 degrees. Um, we want to rotate it based off the center here. This will keep the center point and it's just going to rotate the object. If I tell it to rotate 45 degrees off of the right, it should pick the rightmost point and center it there. It's going to rotate from that rightmost point. Same thing depending on where I do it. It's rotating from the bottom left. I can rotate it from the bottom right and so forth. Uh, we can even do this with copies. We can do a rotation with three or four copies and you'll notice as we do this, it's just going to keep rotating around as we select it, however you select it. Alright, let's move on to the mirror tool. Now the mirror tool is going to be a little harder to show with one box, so I'm actually going to take two and group them together. So now that we have a group here that we can select, I'm going to set my Y to zero and what it should do is mirror the image 
to the right. And you know, the more I think about this, let's make this a little easier to see how it's actually mirroring. All right, so if I, I want to mirror it, I want to make a copy to the right that's mirrored. I'm going to say uh, mirror to 100% and I'm going to apply it. No, that didn't work. I guess both. That didn't mirror. Okay, so when we actually select the mirror option here, it actually is going to mirror the option. Again, if I select the mirror here, this will place it to the right, but it will be mirrored vertically. Next we want to move, and I'm sorry I don't know the names of all these tools, um, to the size tool. For this I'm just going to grab a single box. And again it's going to make a copy and well this is not going to make a copy because it's told zero so it's only going to affect the original and it's just going to resize our object the way we tell it to do so. I can tell it to make copies and it will create the different copies basically keeping this side the same. Um, next it looks like we have the skew tool. Now with the skew tool it's going to basically skew our object just as it implies. Um, you can again make copies that will skew it even more. Now this tool would be particularly useful for making line vectors and such. If you have any questions on this or anything else with Kindy Systems, give me a call at 1-800-826-6332 and just go into 2 for technical support. Thank you.